Collectibles. Woo! So today we have not really a doll review, a movie a review. A movie review. So we decided that we had to talk to you guys and spread our opinion, I guess, about we went to the one time showing for the new Welcome to Monster High movie. And I know there's a lot of people skeptical about this movie, and there's a lot of reasons why they should be. And we went to see it, and we thought we would give you guys an insight. We'll try not to give too much spoilers, but we want to let you guys know. Forewarning, there may be spoilers. Yes, yes, I guess we'll <laughs> say it like that. We won't go too depth into the story, but we'll tell you about what we thought. So, overall, it's it's a good movie. Yes. If you, you have to drop the concept of Monster High or you're going to hate this movie, you have to look at it as a completely new thing. Like these are brand new dolls coming yes. out. This is a brand new movie. A new concept, everything. Nothing else happened before, yes. which was our problem with it. Yes. We we love Monster High. We are diehard Monster High fans. We love the movies. We've been following them forever. And the fact that they decide to do a reboot i mean i their thought process on it i i can't justify even though i a lot of people are understanding that they needed to do a reboot i i mean i don't i don't completely agree with that there's They're, tons of toy brands that have never done reboots like that but yeah. like the movies like the movies they didn't need to reboot if they wanted to change the doll's image a little bit yeah. different because of competing with other dolls and things like that their main know. excuse was their original fan base grew out of them and being as old as we are, we're not ancient, but no. we're not from the original fan base, the one that they targeted. So it's just, I think they overstress the fact that there was new competition on the shelves. I think so too. I honestly think that was. I think that other doll lines were going with softer faces and softer tones, and they took it as, we're going to do it too, to compete. And I think that Monster High's main thing was freaky flaws, freaky flaws. And it was one thing that really appealed to me. And I, I loved that. And I think that now conforming, if you will, into what they did, it's it took that, that concept away. It's like freaky flaws as long as they're not too freaky. Right. I don't I don't I don't like that. We only say that because we found Frankie dolls without the scar on her face. Yes, I don't like that. So, so Back to the movie, though, since we ranted a little bit. The plot line was that all the monsters had separated after the big fright scare, they called it. I think fright, that's what it was. Something, along, something yeah. along that lines. And so everybody lived by themselves, not even with their own kind, for that matter. Yes. And it starts off with Dracula and her dad living in an old abandoned house alone. And Dracula is learning how to use her vampire powers, which is cool. She's kind of bored. She has, like, the Rapunzel from the Disney Tangled movie concept. She's just stuck in her room. She can't go anywhere. She has no friends. So she has a vlog that kind of helps release yes. some of her pent-up frustrations. And one day they go out flying when she's learning to use her powers, and somebody sees her transform. We won't tell you who, but somebody. And that kind of is a catalyst towards making Monster High. Yes. For them. It, it, basically, if you watch this movie, it, Freaky Fusion never happened. The, the character transitions into this new reboot, there's, each character is very, very different. Some of the different traits they gave them, it, it's cool. I yeah. mean, I'm, I'm going to admit, I did like it. I thought it was really cool. But Nerd. some, like, my favorite is Frankie Stein. I have every Frankie's, like, ever made. I love Frankie. This version of Frankie... I was trying to hold on to and it, it, it didn't appeal to me they they're giving her more of like a, a scientist vibe which i understand because of you know her grandfather right but it's free frankie was always the, the helpful one the klutzy one the, yeah that was her niche yes and now they kind of took that away from her she, now she's kind of more like just the 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 cute just, friend like yeah. like a sorority chick kind of right that's how yeah. you explain it they they put her where frankie is usually the main character in most of these movies they kind of put her on the back burner and brought draculaura out 
which is fine. Yes. You know, it's good to switch it up and everything. But the way they did Portrayed it. Portrayed her was, it's it didn't seem like Frankie Stein at all. Yeah, it was seemed like a totally new character, which I guess they all are in a way. But what they did do with this plot is almost wrote out certain characters. Yes. They... They are saying that they they did not discontinue any of the Monster High characters, and I mean I hope not. We 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 won't know. We probably won't know for a few years. But I, it seems like they have. I mean, with the the doll lines coming out, the, a lot of the original characters are not coming back so far. Even the minis, like the minis. I mean, they have an identical character to Spectra in this new Monster High movie, and like all the the kids and the even the parents that were talking, that were you could tell they were fans of this movie, were like, "Oh, it's Spectra! Oh, it's Spectra!" And they were like, "No, it's not." No. It's... So it was very it was disappointing like, because spoiler number one, Claudine and her brothers, her little brothers, yes. live in a cave in the moors, and that's where they come up where they first start. Claude's not there. Yes, Claude is my favorite character besides Frankie, and I'm going to be very disappointed if they got rid of Claude. I, I don't understand why they're going to sit there and say that they didn't cancel any characters. What's the justification for all these characters being absent? Like, when you watch the movie, you'll understand. Like, they substituted the human-type form characters like these that you'd see walking in the background in the original Monster High movies for more cartoonish right cartoonish monsters yeah like yeah. they didn't have human forms they were very very different and those characters that were missing it, it took a lot away from welcome to monster high the only thing i can think of where claude is concerned when we met claudine's sister claudia she lived in london yes. away from the family so I'm kind of holding out hope there that that's something they're doing and he's just the older brother, but that also would mean he probably wouldn't be with Draculaur anymore. I, and I don't like that. Come on. Draculaur and Claude have to be together. But... And there's other characters who, if you know their background from... I didn't mean to cut you off. That's okay. But if you know their background from their journals and such, like Operetta, she used to live underneath the school. So you know building it on top of this house cuts out the catacombs and her yes. like it's a complete her domain it's a complete reboot when they say reboot they're not using that term lightly it's a completely different concept a completely different movie the only thing that is the same is that you have frankie stein draculaura cleo oh. they focus way more they're putting a lot more time into the fact that their parents are in there too i know that there's a lot more like there's they're going to be making more of their parents i've seen different things online about trademarks and things like that i think we have cleo's family coming in i know we have laguna's family coming back i i just hope that they get back to the concept because one of the mistakes i made was i left the theater like oh this was a good movie this was a good movie and then i was like you know i was sad about frankie i was sad about the missing characters and we got i got home and i watched the other movies and i was like this was the worst thing i could have did because mm -hmm. i was so floored by like the differences like frankie's voice is different like the your favorite things about the original monster high movies and characters and even the dolls are are changed they're gone it's completely different we were we had an actual reboot doll and we held her it was one of our friends and she's there they make them a lot thicker which there's nothing wrong with that but they don't have they're so much more they stiff yeah they're a lot more stiff you can tell it's a lot more plastic so they lose that little like floppy loved thing that i love that about monster high i mean that was one of my favorite things I, they just when you have a character like this that you love they feel loved, loved. when they yes. move like that but otherwise, this movie, the animation was on point. Yes, animation sure. was really good. Really good. The plot line was a good one. All other opinions aside, the plot line yes. was a very decent plot line. It had a story arc and everything and a conclusion. And, you know, the ending was, hey, there's going to be more. Yes, which is good. like we said, look at it as a completely different concept. Do not look at it as... 
a continuation. I'm gonna go see my not. girls on the big on well on DVD, but you can't look at it like that. You gotta look at it as okay, this is different. So, like I said, we enjoyed the movie for what it was. It's yes. definitely not a continuation of Monster High. No. It's a brand new Monster High period. Yes. So let us know what you think if you went and saw it. Yes, definitely. Please. Let us know if you guys know anything about these other characters because that are missing. We don't no. know. I know. Rochelle wasn't in it either. Oh. It's so sad because just look at that face. I know, come on, look at these. Things. But oh here's another one. Oh my gosh. Look at them. They're all missing. Let us know if you know where these missing in action characters are. And like, subscribe, comment. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Delectable Adventures and Delightful Misadventures. Thanks See for you watching, later. guys.